Hey everybody, we are here at Bad Monster Party in Glendale, Arizona. It is our first time back to a multi-day convention in about 16 months. It's just crazy to think that. It actually was really cool just to be back on a convention floor at a hotel show, uh, checking things out. So that's it. We're gonna give you a quick look at this show. It is a, the eighth year of it here in Arizona. Um, we really loved a lot of the vendors we've seen here. Cosplay has a really fun, kind of casual vibe at the Renaissance Hotel. Uh, pretty good prices on the show. When we bought our tickets for the three day, it was 70 bucks uh, for three days. So with that said, we're gonna take you around, give you a little bit of a feel for what it's like here. Some of the cosplay, the monsters, the booths, and more. So let's head on inside. Thank you very much. This way, real quick. You can rejoin the. The signing there, you've got Mark Shepard, Jamie Kennedy, Skeet Ulrich, Matthew Lillard, Doug Bradley, and a whole lot more. Inside the panel room, a number of the guests take on the stage there. Currently, Doug Bradley's inside. There's Friday the 13th, part five, and a number of other panels. Things like the cosplay contest throughout the weekend. Person here in that setting. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was, it was, it was terrific. I mean, my, you see, my, my thing was, it, it started when people, when uh, actors started doing fo photo ops at conventions in makeup. And I looked at that and I thought, oh, that would be a cool thing to do. And I thought, I can't do that because it's too complicated. Because the makeup takes hours to put on, uh, and, a, uh, and a makeup doesn't currently exist. I mean, you, you, when we made the movies, when you when you took the makeup off at the end of the day, because everything, as I said, is glued to me, you have to use oil to break every, break the adhesive down. The oil soaks into the into the, the foam latex, and it's it's useless. It gets binned. It's a brand new pieces, a brand new set of pieces every single day. So there, there was no makeup in existence. That would have had to have been dealt with. But also for me, it was a, it was a question of um, how do I do this? I, you know, once I'm in character, how do I relate to the fans? I can't stand there as Pinhead and say, hey. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> you know, it's not, you know, I don't know how Pinhead relates to his fans, but um, it's probably not pretty. Um, so I had kind of thought about it and, and immediately discounted it and thought, I, I just, I can't do it. I, I, I don't see how I could make it work. 
And then I simply turn the question around. Well, if, if Pinhead can't go into, into your world, can I bring you into my world? Um, so that was how we then set about creating a set, making it like a cross between a photo op and, um, and a, a walkthrough room in a haunted house. So we built the set and I stole bits of Chris Young's magnificent score um, with his permission. He knows it happened. He's very cool with it. And got a new makeup made, new costume made, and it was a huge undertaking. And I couldn't have possibly have done it all without the help uh, of my wife, Steph, who's at the back of the room, so I'll have a show you all the time. Um, uh, and also the co cooperation of a lot of people here at, uh, um, at Mad Monster Party. Um, uh, uh, and it, it came together so perfectly. Um, if a year previously, when I was talking to to Steph about it and throwing ideas back and forwards. If you time lifted me into that Saturday afternoon when we were rolling through it, I would have looked at that and said, well, fuck me, yes. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed that look at Mad Monster Party 2021. Uh, as I said, for us, it was just fantastic being out at a convention again, a full-on show. Uh, that said, beside that, even if we're 2019, 2018, 2017, whenever, this is a good quality show, a good host of guests. The whole Scream reunion thing has really had people excited. Uh, Matthew Lillard, Lillard, in particular, has had a line the entire um, weekend here. Great cosplayers on hand. Just so much fun stuff to see. A uh, really incredible host of... Uh, you know, Etsy style uh, artists, dealers, exhibitors, great t shirts, a lot of stuff to find. So, if you are in the you know, Phoenix, Glendale area, definitely suggest checking it out in 2022 and having a good time with it. So, we are wrapping up here. We will have more convention stuff, a lot coming in the second half of the year, including lots of horror, Halloween stuff. We cover a ton of haunt things. So, please subscribe, like if you're into that stuff. With that being said, we're going to wrap this up. And until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.